Welcome to the 20th! Exciting! It's quite early, I've just dropped Ivy off at school and... Excuse me? I had a much better night last night, it's such a good solid night. I think I was asleep by about 11 or just after 11. I didn't get up until about half past 7. So not bad for me, not bad at all. Uh, so I've dropped Ivy, been to the post office and dropped some parcels off. And <clears throat> now I'm nipping to drop a, a present off at a friend's house. She's not going to be in, so I'll just drop it on the handle. I've waterproofed it because it's very grotty out again today. Um, and then I need to nip quickly down to Asda, but I'm going to park around the corner. I'm not going to go into the retail park because I imagine it's going to be a bit bonkers on there and even if it's not now it probably will be by the time I get done. I'm not going for many things, it's mainly like wrapping paper, tags, a few candles um, and then for the rest of today I'm going to be doing a highly secret job which I can't really film any of. <laughs> so that's going to be, I'll, I'll do my advents when I get home, record those for you and I'll show a few other bits. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be nose to the grindstone to get everything done that I need to do today. <laughs> you know what I mean. So hopefully, oh, that was a weird noise. Whoa. You know what I mean, don't you? Secret Santa jobs. I need to do that. The kids are at school today and tomorrow. Um, Ivy's got a half day Wednesday. I'll be, uh, Cos will be in all day Wednesday. Can't believe how late they're finishing this year. Most people I know who aren't in Derbyshire, their kids are already finished and have been for several days. And ours have got to keep going till the 22nd and I have no idea why. But there it is. Right, I'm gonna stop blathering on and um, get going and I'll talk to you later.
Double down. Buckle in. There we go. Get your feet under, keep them toasty. Christmas at Brock the Badger's house. On Christmas Eve, Sam Pig was busy decorating the kitchen with holly. All afternoon, the little pigs had been out in the woods picking bunches of holly for the great festival. They carried a heap of shining leaves and red berries home, and then they began to make the house as green as the holly bushes. Brock the Badger was away. They had not seen him for a week. He had sent a message that he would return for Christmas, and they felt sure that he would come that very night, so they prepared for Christmas Day by themselves. Give me that big piece, Anne, called Sam, as he balanced on top of the step. Well, good evening, everybody. I've been uh, looking at my recipes this afternoon and deciding for sure what I'm going to make for Christmas period. Ooh. I've already started making myself a rough list. I've uh, got my cranberry relish recipe out of here and then I've, um, I'm getting, going to make a GF. Do you think you could stop interrupting, please, lady? I'm going to make a GF stuffing from a recipe I found online. Uh, but I'm just about to do my Christmas food shop list. And I never, ever do a list like this normally. I usually have a list on my phone uh, and do it that way. But I, because I get it can get quite stressful in the shop at Christmas, this is one of the ways that I try to manage my stress levels and it's become a bit of a tradition. So what I usually do is I've folded my paper into four quarters and I will do fruit and vegetables and then meat and dairy and then like dry goods and everything and then sort of sundries, you know, non-food items like cat food and any cleaning stuff or loo roll and that kind of thing that we might need getting in. So, um, oh, could you just be a bit less of a distraction, please, Bramble? What a pest. So anyway, I'm going to transfer my stuff uh, from my hastily scribbled list, wherever it is, in my uh, Honey Dukes book. And um, I'll show you when I'm done. Not that it'll be very interesting. I mean, seriously, is that the best I've got to do? Show you a blooming shopping list. <laughs> Let me find it. afternoon I managed to sit down for a good couple of hours and in those two hours I finished the heel on my first um, Whoville sock oh excuse me and I knitted the rib and the first four rounds of the leg of the second one so I fi finally feel as though I'm doing a little bit of catch up the pattern is um, just one I'm making up with a slip stitch design in it not particularly interesting or exciting and it's a it's lovely but i would say i won't do it for myself again because the slip stitches are too frequent and they um give a bit of a lack of a bit of rigidity you know which for someone with a very deep instep makes it difficult getting the leg it's fine once it's on my foot but it's just a bit awkward getting the leg the foot down the leg hole if that makes sense but i've used this nice new red um, which is one from the I died and I uh, really like the way it looks and I really enjoy knitting it I think I would have been faster if I'd have done a, a vanilla sock but I think I'll probably do a vanilla sock for my Christmas Eve cast on I'm going to be casting on um, Bird Street yarn in the Christmas 19, 1974 I'll have to check the ball band it's 
Christmas sometime in the 1970s. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to be casting that on for my Christmas Eve cast on, and I think I'll just do a plain vanilla one for that, just so that I can chug away on it without having to concentrate. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to work on this tonight. I've had a couple of nights off my quilt to give my poor finger, if you can see, but I've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a patch on my finger where I push my needle in, um, where I've shed a bit of skin. I do use um, a, a leather thimble. I can't get on with metal thimbles, but um, I don't know what it is about me, but I just really, I don't know if I've got the wrong size or what, but they're constantly slipping off my finger and getting in the way. Um, and so I use it for a bit and then I get frustrated with it and I give up. <laughs> um so yes i'm going to take that up now um johnny's in the front room ironing so i'm going to go up the stairs with a nice cuppa i'm gonna work on my quilt for a little while and then i'm gonna get myself a good early night because i've got a busy day tomorrow i'm going into town in the morning after i've dropped cosmo off at school do some last minute bits in town in fact i've got to do my list for there as well uh, so i'll do that in a sec so much is swimming around in my head. I really need to just dump it all into into lists so that I can sleep at night and not have it buzzing around all the time. Uh, well, excuse me. And then the house needs a bit of a general tidy and um, sort out. I've got more wrapping to do. I'm hoping Ivy will help me with some wrapping after, after school tomorrow. Cosmo's got a party after school. Uh, and... Then, yeah, more more of the same kind of stuff, really. Getting, you know, just getting ship shape and getting stuff ready. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. And I will see you tomorrow for the 22nd. Good night. <laughs>